nice. Hello and welcome. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> to, to session 61 of Outlander's Guide yeah. to Ladaria. <laughs> hello. <Yay>. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Uh, Matt is still not with us and we're also missing Dennis today, but it's okay. He's so dead. We're going to play it. No. no. Well. <laughs> oh, Brooke's dead. Uh, yeah, the Brooke may be dead, but... I this is fine, to, to my knowledge. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check on him. But yes, welcome, welcome. The table was defeated earlier by Austin's shenanigans. It had to be true resurrected. Um, <clears throat> but now it's, it's back and all is good. And uh, we are ready for the, um, the recap. Mm -hmm. Yes, we mm -hmm. are ready. Let me put this away and go kapow. Done. And um, so it, it would be Dennis's turn usually. It, he, he's busy. Matt is in tears. So it falls upon Austin. Remind us of what happened the last session. Hello. It's me, Austin. How are you all doing? Hi, Austin. Hi, Is Austin. Sid okay? <laughs> Hello, I'm fine. I'm excited. What do you have to tell us today? All right. So, Sid, Jory. Hi. Hello. You two are about to battle each other. A win. Oh. In a quiz competition. Oh, never, no. never mind about. Because this <laughs> summary, this summary is in the form of a quiz. And there are 10 questions. So each of you will get five each. And whoever is the winner is who I'm giving my inspiration to. <laughs> <laughs> what, the stakes what are high. in case of a tie? I get it. That. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? Can you see the, the quiz? Yes. You can see the quiz. All I right. Like, I like your tabs. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that trick up from Jason. <laughs> that really got you, Joey. <laughs> um, so, question number one. Uh, this one is going to go to Sid. Hi. What could hurt the fangs of Nightfall? Psychic damage? Bullets? Slapstick comedy? Radiant damage? Or nothing? I mean, I think it wouldn't expect slapstick comedy, so I think I'm going to go with that. All right. Let's see if you're right. It's correct. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is slapstick comedy because Tekka pulled on its tail and hilariously that hurt it. <laughs> Alright, Jory, your question. Uh huh. I hope I know this one. After Brook was turned into dust by Fangs of Nightfall, Pontifex would have met the same fate if it weren't for Virian saving him while polymorphed as a what? Giant I wish ape? I was here for this one. Mutant Dugrin? Armabatsu? Or your Whoa. mom. Huh. Can I like, ask the audience, or uh, am I on my own? I think the, the only audience member is Winther. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'm going to guess it was armor. It was, I think it was an armor boss, too. I'm pretty sure. I was kind of not paying attention. You are correct. Thanks. Nice. Tekka. <gasps> Sid. That's your real name. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> sort of. After Tekka stunned the fangs of Nightfall, Pip put the snow globe in its innards, cast Remove Curse, and shouted, What? Is it, I really hope this does what I think it will? Hasta la vista, baby! <laughs> Up the butt! Or, ka -chow! Or, none of the above. <laughs> These are all such choice quotes I could ever choose. Uh, I think I'm going to go with... 
I really hope this does what I think it will. All right. That is yeah. wrong. The answer is none of the above because Pip actually said, ooh, ooh, ah. Ah, uh, <laughs> Virian understood that to mean I really hope this does what I think it will. <laughs> Trick question. All right, Jory. Exiting the snow globe was a woman with pale skin covered in colorful, elaborate patterns like a full body tattoo. What is she? An Atara Va, Atara Duv, Atara Philly, or Atara May? Is this an open books quiz or... No. <laughs> no. Oh, never mind. Put my notebook down then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am going to shot in the dark. I think it was a Tara Va. Maybe. Final the first answer. One? Final answer. No. No. Nope. It's a Tara Duv. I'm going to avoid this one because it's spelled D U V without the E at the end. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> All right, y'all are tied. Back to you, Sid. By the way, uh, in terms of like doing an actual recap that will help people, the snow globe totally like destroyed Fangs of Nightfall, but then it turned into <laughs> a little metal orb and then floated away in the same direction as uh, Brooks' <laughs> dust particles. Anyway, Wait, what is back this? to the an quiz. actual recap. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sid, what was the name of the horrible man who only saw Nue as an object to be viewed, who cursed her to be in a snow globe forever? Is it Charmander, Scumander, Pamela Manderson, Onamander, <laughs> or Gerrymander? <sighs> From what I remember, I think it has to be the creator of Gerrymander and Gerrymander. Can I right. steal this one? <laughs> <laughs> It's Onamander, but it was a good guess. Okay, Jory. <laughs> Tekka and Virian had a debate about what major political talking point. <laughs> Racial inequality, equitable minority policies, gun control, or making Zasberg pay for a border wall. I mean, do you want me to get into like the intricacies of it? Because there's a lot of like three of these answers are technically right, but it was <laughs> <laughs> manifested as gun control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gun control is correct. <laughs> okay, Sid, you're you're behind. You got I am. We got here. Up here. The gnome who was with us warned us that we were heading directly to the gnomish campsite and warned us that going into the mines was super duper totally illegal and to not go in. What did the party decide to do? <laughs> Run away like little babies? Take a long rest? Hold a funeral vigil for Brooke? Or go in immediately with reckless abandon? Uh, I think the party decided to do was letting Tekka roll a natural uh, critical roll and then go in immediately with reckless abandon. Yeah! You got it! What was the name, Jory? Of the little guy, gnome who was with us. Is it Fenric Guzzlemist, Elric Bubblefist, Elric Baffletwist, or Sinric is a bitch? It's my, my, my new best friend, Felric. I can never forget him. Felric Final Baffle. answer? Yeah. It's Felric Baffletwist. You got it. All right, Sid, last chance here. And then Jory would have to miss the next one in order for y'all to tie. Okay. The party entered the mine, was attacked by the rails, and was assaulted by nightmarish visions. There was a cave-in, and the party was surrounded by darkness and dozens of eyes belonging to the fangs of nightfall. The party heard a voice belonging to who? The drow man? The wolf? The fox? And Ezin? Or all of the above? Oh, that all of the above answer it's very alluring to me but i think i gotta expand the conspiracy board and say the wolf the wolf okay let's see oh sid it's all hey. of the above we've talked about this <laughs> <It's drow. laughs> everything is drow i mean it says so right on the tab up there our wolves made a drow all right jory what rock did pip give nui 
White and black dolomite, pink smooth river rock, Dwayne Johnson, <laughs> sodium chloride, green malachite, luminous pyrite, jet, marble towelite, speckled sandstone, rectangular granite, blue slate, fossilized mouse, star boba, or gallstone. I feel like this quiz was stacked against me. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, it was yeah. the pink. <laughs> and if you get this one wrong, that's that. It actually counts as two questions wrong. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can I call shenanigans? <laughs> yes. Okay, shenanigans, but also I think it was the Pink River Rock. Final answer? Yes. Out of all of these beautiful choices? They're all wonderful choices. You were right. What? Bravo! Total, in total, y'all got a 6 out of 10, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jory. <laughs> you will receive the inspiration. Yay. <laughs> Thank for the quiz. Yeah. Thank you all for participating. That was fun. Thank you for setting this up. I'm going to close it now. Boom. It has been banished. The Shadow Realm. <laughs> <clears throat> and back on the table. Uh, if, if you mean for this inspiration to be given to Jory, then Austin, you get to name it. Oh, oh so boy! It's a great responsibility. Make um, it good. Um, get one shot. Don't blow it. <laughs> and you can't. It can't be a repeat of all the other um, dice I have, which I have fifty-seven of in my bag. <laughs> I don't think you have a quispiration. Mm, Wrong. Do I? Wow, Joy I immediately just... <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was a quizpiration. <laughs> there is? Yep, uh -huh. I have it right here. Oh you, you, no! Uh, and now I'll have to take your inspiration, Austin, for fucking it up. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> then I'll just give you <clears throat> Piration. Can you just give it like a unique name, Spiration? <laughs> but it's pronounced like pirate, so... Piration, pi yeah. <laughs> Piration. Piration. I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's be grudging inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Big grudge inspiration. Alternatively, y'all could split it and just have two D10s two D10s. for inspiration. Just really crappy inspirations. <laughs> Would we want to roll badly? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just one do natural ones, really, but not to guarantee success. Mom said it's my turn <laughs> with the inspiration. <laughs> 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 All right, well, thank you for that. Uh, I'm just gonna bring <laughs> this back. Pause this. Uh, let's put back the music for the jungle for now. The adventures in this in this land. <clears throat> okay, so. The air in the abandoned mine is cold, dusty, and heavy. The flickering torchlight reveals rusted minecarts and cobwebs hanging like ghostly veils. Dripping water echoes in the darkness, while shadows seem to dance and whisper in the corners. The walls bear the scars of unfinished labor. The entire place had come alive to haunt you, even the spirit of the fangs of nightfall. But the entire nightmare has now been dispelled, leaving behind only a man. In the, in the dim light of the abandoned mine, the masked figure stands, draped in darkened robes and con concealed by a hooded cloak. His features may be hidden, but his voice was familiar. What would you like to do? I'm gonna... you can put out your... Minis, if you'd like. I don't know, out here. Uh, mm, here's Nui. The, the fact that the perspective on this is not correct is <laughs> messing with my brain right now. Just putting it out there. <laughs> We're all leaning like Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was meant to be a battle map. <clears throat> Just... <clears throat> 
does look funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Getting seasick is like... Is trippy. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> We have met before. Do you remember? The man before you remains still. You can't see his expression and there is no body language currently to read, but the silence that follows is lengthy. He eventually answers, have we? I recognize your voice. Unmistakable. I do not recall meeting you or speaking directly with you before. But tell me more. We met in a space. For many voices, shapes, were there for a moment then disappeared. I promise you, I will let you see the, my people, that I would invite you to my new home. I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. But that doesn't particularly matter, does it? I know why you're here. And I suppose I appreciate what you are attempting to do, but I've already cleared this place out. And I have no troubles with you. I will return your friend to you, and then you can be on your way. Will you explain any of this? What this place is? Why does the light collect here? After a brief pause, the man points with a gloved hand towards one of the many passageways in the mine and says, Fine, let's sit down. And he walks ahead of you down the passageway. Before we go, I think Virion will just kind of like lean in to the rest of the party. Like, but would someone mind filling me in? I don't. I'm a little out of the loop right now, I think. Uh, yeah, Tekka will give a quick nod to the drow before heading back to Period. <sighs> Many of us have met someone like this one when we are close to death when we lose ourselves. They hold some kind of power. What do you mean like this? Be more specific. This voice, this figure, I don't see how it is anyone else. Anyone else other than... I don't have a name. It is only a figure, a person. Who said they could not escape whatever place they were in. Virion, in your mind you hear, The Drow Man! Virion looks very surprised when... Says that. Huh. Well then, 
that's the case, so... Lead the way, I suppose. I have, um, I have a question for the group. Mm -hmm. Where is... And I mean, when I say where, I mean here on this physical tabletop table. Where's Orm? Uh, with Tekka. Yep. Over here! I've been looking and I couldn't find it. Okay. Uh, is it actually like in <laughs> Tekka's possession? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Nui would nudge Tekka and point at the book. And then she holds out her hands in like a, a request kind of motion. Tekka will open or. Um, will you give it to her or just hold it open? Just holding it open. Okay. So she she will speak, and uh, oh god, I have to change your color. But uh, on uh, <laughs> <laughs> on <laughs> it, it spins in my camera every time I do this. It's super wow. annoying. <laughs> um, and on Orm's pages, uh, the translation is as follows. I see. Apologies. Walk with me. We will walk with this person and have answers. They say our friend will be returned to us. Uh, and yeah, with that, Tekka will walk wherever this drow is heading. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep, Nui was nodding along with her explanation as uh, the uh, your words appeared uh, on Orm's pages. And then at the, at the last bit, uh, uh, she, she smiles. She'll, she'll stick close to you from now on. Uh, down... <clears throat> down the passageway where the masked man went. Um, after just a couple of turns, you find an area that is set up to be like, um, like a little uh, living room. Uh, there's uh, furniture that is made of stone, um, chairs, a table, a sofa with a couple of actual pillows on it. <clears throat> uh, in a corner there is a, a bedroll. A handful of possessions, a backpack abandoned against a wall. Um, the furniture is all, instead of being gnome sized, it is uh, medium creature sized. <laughs> um, the. Let me see if I can do that with this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, the man gestures at the ground and you hear him speak in arcane words, uh, and the stone that the ground and the walls are made of, uh, uh, it, it splits open and it, it looks almost liquid. It rises up against gravity and reshapes itself into additional chairs. And <clears throat> once those have appeared, he'll take place on one of them glance around briefly, and then I think I said last time, uh, if I didn't, he's speaking in Lorenan. Uh, he, he glances around and then lifts a hand in a bit of a uh, kind of a shrugging motion and says, I'd offer you food, but I've only got some old rations. We have <coughs> rations. And we do not intend to stay longer than needed. My name is Tekka. What is yours? Mine is Bonan. You may call me that. Then Bonan. 
what are you able to explain about this place? About what happened to my companion? I'm trying to chase the gnomes out of these lands, <clears throat> using magic to scare them off. I suppose he got caught into one of my spells. I do not mean to harm anyone. Anyone I do manage to catch, I just send them off. Out of the forest. Your uh, friend is no gnome, so I brought him here. I'll fix him up, and him right back. Not, not for nothing, but it seemed that at least the gnomes that we were speaking with are under the impression that people were very much dead. Hmm. It's just a trick. I made sure to make them believe as much, otherwise they wouldn't have been scared enough to leave. Hmm. Of course, you have nothing but my word. You may, you may absolutely <laughs> yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Perhaps that's part of the reason why he's maintaining this this disguise, but. Without being able to read his expression, it's just too difficult to be able to tell if there's any any tells of any lies. His voice is very controlled. You can tell as much he has. Um, he's paying a lot of attention to what he's saying and how he's saying it. So overall, you're not really getting any like vibes from him. I mean, Did uh, you build the metal uh, machines in the jungle? There was one already here that the gnomes managed to destroy. I got here right around that time and I, I just thought to use their, their knowledge of this construct as the source of their fear. The original one is gone, everything else is just... I made them. If you don't mind me being blunt, why... It seems like a whole lot of effort just to drive a mining expedition out. Not just the one. This is the third one I've eradicated. There's plenty more to go. As for why... I deeply believe that these uh, efforts are harmful to Ladaria, and I will do everything in my power to stop them. So what will you do now that they are gone? Move will on to the next here? one. elsewhere in the land. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I didn't catch that, Sid. Elsewhere in the land of the Daria. That's correct. Uh, did Pip have something? Yeah, Pip is, is squinting at the drow with these last few statements that he's made. And he's like, ah, 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 I wish I could ask questions. In his mind, <laughs> he's thinking this. And, uh, and he's like, I'm going to check in with Squeak. And uh, <laughs> telepathically uh, asks, Greek, you about done? And then, like three seconds later, he hears, uh, No, no, probably gonna be, uh, you know, uh, another few days of travel. Then I gotta, you know, get the sand. And, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a process, you know, so, so no need to check in. And then uh, Pip is going to look through Squeak's senses. Beach, 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 please. Squeak is currently 
laying on his back, his wings just spread on the ground, on this shimmering blue sand. It's like just sapphire colored. Under the sunlight, it's sparking, it's sparkling in a way that's almost blinding. Uh, a small... Uh, he, he's only a few feet away from the shore, and there's the gentle sound of the waves crashing against the sand over and over. It's, um, it's a gorgeous sight. There isn't a, any buildings around, just this pleasant and strangely colored beach. Greek, how long have you been there? I just got what? Are you looking through my eyes again? I, you can't do that without telling me first. I can do whatever I want. I'm your master. What? You are not my master. You are not. Granny's my master. I've only been here for you know, a couple of days. Squeak, you get that sand and you get your butt back here right now. He grabs a handful of sand and shoves it in the pouch. And then poof. And he appears on, on Pip's shoulder, sulking. I hate you. Shut up. <laughs> he Squeak is a slightly darker shade of blue now. He has been <laughs> sunbathing. He has a tan. <clears throat> Where's Brook? He's dead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I leave for a week and everything goes to shit. <laughs> I mean, I know you're probably being facetious, but you're actually not wrong. It just goes to show y'all need me. Oh, who's that? <laughs> hi. The hi, man. Hi. Just, just like, pauses for a few seconds and then gives a, an acknowledging nod. Hey. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, no. Pip's did, uh, speaking did, through Squeak. Did Squeak oh, yes. put the sand in, like, the, the, the pouch? Yes, the pouch. Is that the final ingredient? It is not. What's missing? Well, Pip has all of them. He just hasn't put them in the pouch yet. Oh, okay. Got it. Then proceed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I I brought my friend here. Not your friend. <clears throat> so that I could ask you some questions. Because there was something you said that reminded me of someone. Do you know Gringina? The man leans on the table, like elbow on the table, his chain on his hand. Perhaps. You're... you're the wolf? Or do you just say that you're the wolf? The the man now straightens his posture, uh, then lifts both of his hands <clears throat> up to his hood, removes it, takes off the entire cloak, and uh, he takes off his mask too, and he says, that is what I do claim. Sitting before you on the other side of the table is this elf with pale indigo skin. He has long, flowing white hair, tied in a ponytail, and it falls over one of his shoulders. His eyes are this striking crimson color, very unusual for most humanoid races. His features are elegant and refined, but also deep and scarred. His, his chiseled face bears the markings of a difficult and extremely long life. It's it's rare for elves to live long enough to actually look old, uh, at least in the way that other humanoid races do, and the man before you is one such example. His skin is beginning to show markings that resemble thin 
cracks as if his body was on the verge of breaking apart. But uh, despite this, he still seems agile and tough from what you've seen. Um, it looks at Virian. Does she have any <laughs> wrinkles? She looks a good middle aged, but she looks. <laughs> she looks like so an old elf. She's <laughs> this elf is old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> most of you are left with this strange feeling of deja vu that doesn't quite fit the reality you know. Uh, Bonan sounds excitedly like the stranger you have slowly gotten to know, but uh, he, he, and it looks very, very, very similar to him, but not identical. His eyes are red rather than blue, he's dressed differently, and uh, he's undoubtedly older than the man you have repeatedly met on death's door. So Viren's gonna speak up on this and just, as she looks at him, she looks... Uh, so like she's seen a, seeing a ghost kind of a little bit, just a little Oops. gobsmacked. And she leans forward and... I... caught you speaking Clonin, so you are either from there or something very strange is going on. When you say that you are the wolf or claim to be the wolf, you mean the wolf. And see so with that, she'll take her shield off her back and show it to him. And it's very faint. It's battered. It's been there for a long time. But there is a wolf insignia on her shield. Do you require proof? I mean, if you would like to provide it. Hmm. Well, Virion, I know you. You named your ship after me. I did. I appreciated it. It was a nice gesture. was what I could do, just a reminder for myself, for everyone, that we weren't alone. <laughs> now, um, Vona leans back on the chair in a bit of a more comfortable pose. Throughout all this, uh, Nui has just been staring down at the, uh, at the book uh, as Orm has been diligently just transcribing everything that has been shared, every back and forth. Um, <clears throat> Vonan says, I am hoping that you'll keep this to yourselves. That will not make you promise. Oh my gods. <laughs> Are all the gods drow? <laughs> I mean, uh, that'd be quite the... This? I may call myself the wolf, but... I don't really consider myself a god. What? What? As such, I will not speak for the others. It's a strange position to be in, I mean have this force that you know is there, is watching, is helping, but is not considered a god by others either. You learn to have a acceptance, I suppose, is the best word I can think of. Are you disappointed? No. Hmm. Good. 
Now, I don't exactly know when you have um, ended up meeting these people. But I gave them a task some time ago. If my friend did what I asked her to do. You did get my message, yes? Yeah, we just didn't do it. Um, is that not why you came here? Oh, is this that place? Uh, I thought it was a different one. One of many. As I mentioned, there is a whole lot more to be done. And uh, you're not required to do anything for me. What is it that you're here to accomplish? I mean, other than scaring gnomes. <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it? Trying to stop them from mining any further. Why is it so bad for the land? It is my belief that these earthquakes that have been shaking the Daria ever since we got here are caused by all this mining. They're... And he, he, he's leaning back on, like, the, the, uh, the reclining part of the, of the chair. There used to be this group of other people, L Ladarians, who started these mines to begin with. How An many Hadra. years ago? Um, the ones, yes. It caused a lot of trouble, and eventually they wiped themselves out of existence. And the gnomes have already gotten really close to extinction, and I am quite fond of them. So even though they may not know it, I'm doing them a favor. I'm sure it's occurred to you, but have you tried explaining this to them? I know, I don't know how long you've been here, here, but you know how things were, at least, and why it's hard to let go of something that gives you an edge, all things considered. I understand them. I understand the situation. I'm not entirely opposed to them having a method of self-defense, after everything they've gone through especially. But this can't be the way. I've tried. But... Of course they won't listen. Trouble with inventive folks sometimes, they get very, uh, tunnel vision, pun intended. He doesn't even smile at that. <laughs> now, we have never spoken. Not directly, not with any of you. And yet you say you knew me, met me. Admittedly, I am curious. Do you know anyone like you? Close family. I have no living relatives left, but there's others of my kind. They hide away, of course. That's how they have survived. I'm not certain. They wouldn't need to be alive. I never met them in person.
Vonn's expression just remains very neutral throughout this. Doesn't even, like, raise an eyebrow or anything, but he does lean forward towards you just a little bit, almost almost imp imperceptible. Go on. What do you mean? Tekka gives a quick glance to the others, just for, like, an okay. Bet not. When anyone in our group fell unconscious from their injuries, at that place away from life, we met someone very much like you. Sometimes in the blank space with others passing by in seconds. Sometimes in a room. They talked about being trapped there. Mentioned refer to others as godlings. And there is a big blue cube. I am afraid I know not of what you speak. None of this sounds familiar. I don't think this is the end of it. We will meet that person again. Is there a question I should ask them next time? You know your kind better than me. What answer should I seek? Let the DM think about this for a moment. <laughs> fair. Mm -hmm. Super fair. that as of right now Bonan would just shake his head um, and he would reply I am curious but I don't believe this has anything to do with me I have nothing to ask suppose I wouldn't mind meeting this individual, but would that even be possible? I mean, we could knock you out real quick. <laughs> you can try. I mean, do you want us to? No. Okay. It puts the knife down. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, that's fine. Brain go. I, re I recall one more detail. When I met with them, I could see a giant tree always in the vicinity. One that encompassed the sky. So somehow these are connected. 
That sounds like Valkanath to me. Hmm. Sorry, that <laughs> still means little to me. That is fine. I have another inquiry. We have time. It will take me a bit to reform the body of your companion. Might as well chat while we wait. We were asked to learn how they form the powder of unmaking. Are one of the components here in this mine? That's correct. It's a, sub it's a substance that can only be found on Ladaria. I've familiarized myself with it as of lately. The locals call it a nightmare. And the gnomes have adopted the name as well. What is it? Hmm. How do I describe it? To the touch, it is somewhat uh, liquid. Comes out of the walls as if they were bleeding. But what you would uh, actually feel if you were to get too close is fear. Whatever you are most afraid of, it materializes. This thing should not be harvested by anyone, and nothing should be made out of it. It is few things in the world that could be described as being inherently evil, but there's really nothing good about it. I think we've seen something like that before. There was stuff coming out of the walls when when Virian got to the to the tower. Do you remember? Yes, uh feels like it's been such a long time, but what it was it was dark and was, Yeah, it was not uh Pleasant. What does it come from? Devils? The ocean? Why would you say either of those things? That's, that's when... That's when it started happening. When... When Magdrakach was there, the the storm serpent. Have you heard of him? No. But it's starting to sound like you might know more about the nightmares than I do. It's interesting. If you ever encounter it again. Don't touch it. It's not worth it. Do you know anything else about the components? Where should we look? The only thing I know for certain is that uh, whatever the other ingredients are, they're not unique to Lidaria. Nightmare is the only thing that they have to harvest here. And it is the only thing that uh, we really have to stop. So if my in intrusion, but who asked you how to find this? Who is Virion asking? That guy. Huh. 
Um, just to refresh myself, it was Grangina in Urka, right? Was yeah. it there? Um, yeah. It. Uh, and it was uh, at the wolves' uh, request. Yeah. <clears throat> when we were in the town of Urka, a temporary ally named Grangina had sent a message on behalf of me. Pointing. It was my request. And we made no promises to discover it, but it seems we are going to learn about it anyway. You owe me I turn to look at him. <laughs> it, was just, it was just like <laughs> against my will. <laughs> I was just framing the, the scene. I'm sorry. <laughs> you owe me nothing. You don't have to do anything. But if you give a damn about Ladaria. Then you'll do me this favor. What? Stopping the mining operations. Any more that you might come across. The gnomes, they, they know not what they're doing. will harm Ladaria, and it will harm them, too. And I wish for neither, neither of those things to happen. As for the request other than this nightmare, was that what you were after then? Was that what you wanted to know was just this? Because uh, I'm sure you understand that there's a reason they're protective of how this is made. It is an unfortunate situation. I don't want to deprive them of the means to defend themselves. But they'll have to find another way. One that will not end up in their destruction. But it is just this nightmare that's the problem. It, it is. <laughs> if they had another way of um, making their unmaking powder, I suppose it wouldn't care. I see. If it comes from the devils or the ocean, maybe they could just like stick magic at you in a jar and just like, you know, get get the nightmare from the jar. Put a tap on it. Why is everyone still... looking at me like a mirror? <laughs> this is a good idea. You know what? We'll we'll save that one for later. The um, gnomes can help me kill him. Or I mean, it, if they, I mean, they don't have to kill him if they want to get his ooze. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? <laughs> That, if that method worked, I suppose it would not harm the land, but it would still bring harm to gnomes. Renewable nightmares. <laughs> Eco-friendly. It's called nightmare for a reason. Nobody should have anything to do with it. So besides, uh, Dealing with devils, not humans, devils. I'm learning. It's not. Yeah. You're welcome. 
Um, Thank you. Efforts. Uh, it's not... Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Does... Does Squeak know anything about this? Like, would he know if it's related to devils in any way? Squeak... Um... If asked, Squeak would say that he doesn't know about it. Oh... You worded that in a very mysterious and suspicious <laughs> way. <laughs> I sure did. I don't know nothing about this guy, sorry. <laughs> well... It seems we won't learn more here. Eventually, we will head northeast from here. We have other goals, but we will be on the lookout. Do what you can, if you will. It's... The well-being of this land is important to me. Good. You... You have a good heart. I appreciated that. Thank you. Was <laughs> that a squeak? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy with the deep Brooklyn accent. <laughs> so you turned our friend to dust right I am suppose I should apologize I apologize this but... whole thing it's Well, as I've explained, I just am trying to scare people off. And... Uh, I've actually never before accidentally gotten into my magic somebody who wasn't a gnome. Out here, hardly anyone but the gnomes dares to explore. Perhaps I'll figure out a way to, to exclude unintentional... Uh, Targets. I know that you don't know much about the other drow that we're talking about, but that other one, I think it could do something like that too. Um, turn people into dust and, and then it was like flying into his big blue cube. Do you have a cube? Does every drow have a cube? No, I don't have a cube. Well, hypothetically, if you filled a big cube full of <laughs> person sprinkles, what would happen? Uh, I... Probably not good things, right? Probably not. My magic is merely a means of transportation. The gnomes that I capture, I send them off out of this forest. I wouldn't lock them all up into one container. I don't think they would what? survive that. Where have you sent them, and how long has this been going on? Because, I mean, it seems fairly recent. 
and it takes a while to get out here, but you would think that maybe if they weren't actually dead, people would have heard by now. Oh, I think the ruse is going to be exposed soon enough. But I'm not willing to actually harm them. So this is all I've got. I only got here uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> All I need mind. them to believe is that these mines uh, are haunted and it's not worth uh, uh, working in them anymore. This place doesn't seem like it was mines at first. What is this place? I'm afraid I do not really have an answer. Ruins of the people who were here before. What they were for, I, I cannot say. I don't think the gnomes know either, and I don't think they care. Oh, um, uh, I think I've got something, though. <clears throat> he stands up and gestures at one of the stone walls, and he just parts open, uh, revealing the room on the other side, and one of goes in there, and just disappears for like five to ten seconds and then turns back around and walks right through and closes the stone wall back behind him and he is holding in his hands a uh, a head one made of metal uh, in the in the shape of a, a vaguely feline head uh, kind of like a panthers or a tigers uh, and it is made entirely of machine parts. Um, not moving, clearly broken and uh, uh, not functional at the moment. Uh, there is also many holes in it uh, that uh, look very obviously, especially to, to Virian, like, like bullet holes. Uh, when he puts it on the table, there is a part of it that, that comes off and the um, one I'm just kind of picks it up and sticks it back vaguely into place and says this was the head of the actual machine that was here before I got here. The one that gnomes successfully destroyed. They had this impaled at the front of their campsite. I picked it up. Do you want it? I'm not trying to get you to t throw away my junk. <laughs> I won't be offended if you say no. I will take it. Uh, it just yeah, gestures towards it. Yep. Um, yeah, you I are think now the proud uh... owner of uh, the head of the Fangs of Nightfall. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, with a quick inspection, is there are there any details, like any markings, right, at all? Well, you can roll an investigation check. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, the the bullet holes are the main uh, the main thing that you notice right away. Uh, it's just full of them. Um, the the head does remind you in terms of construction uh, to of the one uh, of the one with stairs. Uh, it's not identical, but it's definitely made of the same materials and assembled in, in a very similar way. It's the same technology. <clears throat> Much like the one who says, it seems that this machine was old, it's dirty, and it's a little rusted. Uh, but that's that's about all you can tell. Uh, 
Do you know if there are others like this in the Daria? Mm. Do I know for a fact? No, but I would assume so. There are plenty of ruins from this people that used to live here before. Their constructs are likely still around. You should know. I believe we have made a mistake. We had dismantled another construct like this. And the gnomes now have it. They are likely to understand their weaknesses and take control of whatever land they see fit. Hanon kind of just lifts a hand and gestures dismissively and says, I suppose you didn't know what you were doing. I don't particularly mind the intelligence and creativity of gnomes is exactly what's been keeping them alive, despite all odds. Technology will always move forward, and learning things is not itself inherently bad. I'm sure they would have come across something like that on their own sooner or later. So do not blame yourself. The nightmare is what I'm concerned about. It's all that matters. Plus, this machine, and he like just pats the head. <laughs> it was actually killing people. If others are causing harm, then it's good that they're being destroyed. How can we contact we can contact you if we we learn more about the Daria being destabilized, about the powder of unmaking, about nightmare? Yeah, do you have a world point card? Um, <laughs> a, a what? Oh no, Professor, he doesn't have a world point card. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't have magic to get in touch with me, I suppose I may occasionally get in touch with you. I don't know how much attention you're still dedicating to watching, but I suppose I've known how to reach you before. Can't imagine it's much different now. Um, he doesn't really comment on this. Just gives a small nod. <sighs> Fine. That will do. How much longer until Brook is bought, brought back to us? Um, Vonan looks up at the ceiling with his, like, just kind of thoughtful expression. Couple more hours. I promise that the process is uh, endless. Then we have no choice but to wait here. You're my guests. Make yourselves comfortable. Can we walk these corridors and find our way back? There will be no spells or magic leading us astray. You are my ward. The way back is safe. Good. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think Tekka will look to the group. What will you do with your time? As we wait. Um, I guess I could look around and see if, see if I can find anything that Nahatra left behind. Good plan. And I need to pick up a rock, so I always <laughs> remember this place. <laughs> be wait, so wait, 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 wait. I've been trading rocks with every god I meet. <laughs> <laughs> Bonin, do you have a rock? Why? Do, do I have a rock? Yes, just pick up a rock. It doesn't matter. What, what do you... Pick up a rock. Uh, he he looks down at the ground and uh, um, it looks like this particular room has been swept clean of dust so there isn't really any rubble anywhere uh, but he, he he just looks at his own uh, like stone chair uh, and grabs grabs like the um, what do you call the part where you put your uh, the arm rest right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, the part uh, where you rest your arms yeah, <laughs> so he he puts a hand on it, and as if it was just made of like dirt, he just removes a chunk of stone, and he rolls it in his hands until it's like somewhat round, but not perfectly, uh, just shaping it into into a pebble essentially, and uh, holds it in the palm of his hand, and just says, "Will this do?" Oh yes. Which one of these would you like? We're performing a trade. Mm -hmm. Do I understand correctly? Mm -hmm. He narrows his eyes a little bit. And this is not some kind of trick? Mm -mm. No curses? No, I wouldn't do that. I typically just remove them. Not from yourself, though. Well, I'm working on that. Hmm. Look, see this one was given to me by Kirill. This one was given to me by Muriel. This one was given to me by the Lady of the Land. Um, he seems unimpressed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just. I'm sorry. Kinda... How many rocks have you traded with gods? <laughs> tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> he just kind of nods along and says, "Uh, I'm, and I'm just taking one." Yeah. Okay. Let me look at the list of rocks. <laughs> Do you have the updated list of rocks? Yes. Yeah, some are send, banned. Send it over. Some are banned. <laughs> Uh, he can't take the ones from the gods. He won't trade a god rock. <laughs> no, no god rock. But no this god is a legendary rocks. rock. It's a, it's a foil. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he won't trade the gem of seeing. He won't oh. trade his components for augury. <laughs> Ooh, hold on a second. I need to. I need to let the cat out of the room. It's important, guys. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna get the full set by the end of the campaign. I gotta get the full I've set. Oh <laughs> my god. That way we can take on the Elite Four. <laughs> He's trading a shiny. Uh... Hold on, I need to pick something very meaningful. If they get the full set, I can call in and get the promo rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these notes. <laughs> oh, you're keeping track of the ones they've given away. Yes. Huh? Okay, he is going to...
pick the the Azurite. Is that how it's pronounced? Yes. Okay. Okay. That is one of the components for augury, but Pip will let it slide. No. You can get another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good rock we're talking about. <laughs> um, he like points to it and he says, <clears throat> um, this one. May I have it? Yeah. Although, and then he looks back down at, the, at his own rock and says, I suppose they're not exactly equal in value, are they? I mean, it's fine. Would you like me to shape it into something other than a pebble? <gasps> Ooh. Like, like what? Uh, I see you have a rat there. I already Some have a animal? petrified mouse. Right, so perhaps a different animal. Or just anything you can think of. Mm, a a stone turtle. They turtle don't talk to me. <laughs> they. Do you wish to speak with animals? I already do. It's just those ones are rude. Ah, you already can. Yeah. You're an so I'm talking to child. you. You're the, you're the wolf. I suppose so. Um, and during this conversation, he is uh, just as if it was it was soft clay. He's just molding this um, this rock, and he's gonna add a little bit more to it uh, oh. until he makes a little statue of a turtle. I'm gonna to see how well how good he is at that. Pip is just enthralled, like watching a clown make a balloon animal. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially what's happening. Uh, it's not too bad. It's a stone turtle, in the sense that it's uh, and and like Pip wouldn't know what turtles look like on Plurina, uh, but like to uh, to anyone who is from Plurina, it's a turtle made of stone. So it's nice. a little a little less like it. it, it it, uh, it looks like a different breed of turtle from the rock ones you have encountered, but, you know, to Pepe, that's close enough. Uh, he wouldn't... It just looks like a different breed, essentially. Um, but it's, it's well-made. It's very recognizable, yeah, turtle. I love it! <laughs> <laughs> and you'll... Von will hand it over and take the Azure right. Wait! Uh, can you put a little hole in it? Like right there? I wanna put it in my hair. He will put a hole in the turtle. Pit puts it in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the stone, but um as I mentioned, I'd like if possible. And if you'll do me the favor, for you to not mention meeting me, speaking with me, what I look like. And so if you ever were to meet other gods, don't tell them you traded rocks with me. Okay. I appreciate it. While the uh, rest of you are exploring, if uh, Ronan would be so inclined, I wouldn't mind speaking with him during this. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, Tekken will nod. <laughs> and, like, just step aside. I mean, she's not, like, private conversation. It's just, like, she's going to stay in chat while they're in the tunnels. Um, Nui would stick with Tekka wherever he goes. <laughs> um, Pontifex is off to do his own thing. 
not suspiciously watching Virion? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I think one step miles uh, is not. Yeah. yeah, he's he's just turning the stony picter in in his hands. He's he looks thoughtful. <laughs> he just really likes rocks for some reason. I don't quite understand it, but I had hobbies when I was a child. It has been a long time since I was one, but I vaguely remember. Getting obsessed on the smallest, strangest of things. There are less healthy hobbies you could have. Certainly, I mean, I. Similarly, it's been a few hundred years. He's a strange child. I could. Yes. I could see a dreadful curse upon him. Not Certainly. to mention he's the, in the company of a devil. It's a, a strange relationship, but he uh, Pip has he, he's a very good heart. I know that, and at least strangely from what I've seen, even if he is a little uh, antagonistic, uh, Squeak does seem to care about him. Don't tell him I told you that, because he seems to be very, uh, hush, hush on it. I won't say a word. <laughs> Shared secrets. It's been all time leading up to coming here since I've arrived in Adaria. I would never have guessed in a million years this is where I would end up. Talking to me? Talking to you. I usually don't interact with people like this. I know. It's not a complaint. I made I an exception have... because these people already knew of me. Rangina has said things she wasn't supposed to. Not that it particularly matters. I mean, if they were to tell anyone, who would believe them? I mean, very few, I'm sure. Especially in the, uh, certain circles. You have questions for me. I'm not sure what they are yet. I mean... I said I would have come more prepared if I knew this was what was going to happen. I did not expect to see you. Especially not in their company. Interesting twist of fate. Certainly. So, was, uh, how are you holding up? Taking things as they come, one day at a time. It's the thing when you get older, the days go very quickly. Time seems to go so slowly. Elves are uh, about your age. Those who have lived through the war, they're struggling. All of them. It breaks my heart. I wish I could help them, all of you. I tried to stop the war. Stop it before it happened. I failed. I'm sure you tried harder than many others. I feel like I've let you all down. See, so if we felt that way, I wouldn't have named my ship after you. It 
was a nice gesture. <laughs> Said I needed them all to know that when they were brought down, when I took them down, it was not alone. That's because they thought they understood everything, that they knew everything, that we were still there. We we're still fighting. I don't think so those that are my age, as you said, we have a lot to be angry about, stay angry about. And I don't think I'll ever not be angry about it. But I have hope that those who come after me, at least, won't have to do the same thing. And if I have to stay angry for them, so be it. I believe that the age of peace is upon us. Um, we hope the same. Never really been much of an optimistic guy, but I have my reasons to believe it. Fully, with all my heart. If things are going to be better. Now there's this whole new place to worry about. But with a bit of luck and with the rest of us doing what we can, I think everything is going to turn out okay. No more wars. Not like the silent one. Never again. Which is why I'm going to stay angry until I don't need to, and I believe that when I don't need to is going to be the day I can fully rest. The blind optimism is not going to get us anywhere. It'll just bring us back to where we were. I'll keep fighting how I need to. Just not as it was, which is not as the war, but to make sure that it doesn't happen again. You deserve something better than anger. That is not to say that you shouldn't be angry. But I would encourage you to seek happiness. Where you can. The problem with seeking happiness is sometimes you never quite know where to look and... Maybe I'm a fool, but... Let's hope that I'll find it when it happens. I believe you will. May I share something personal with you? Of course. I used to have uh, someone I loved. She did not live as long as I have. I lost her many, many years ago. Her eyes were just like this. And he's holding up the, the Asia right that I traded from, from Pip. It's been centuries, but I still miss her. I know firsthand that some pain never heals. No matter how much time passes. No matter what you do, what you distract yourself with. But even if the grief never truly, fully goes away, we do move on, all of us. We find something else to live for. 
Something that makes us happy. I hope that the knowledge that I am on this continent of all places can bring you some comfort. It certainly does, especially with uh, the, the prospect of uh, bringing other gods here from Plurna. You think the other gods are coming? I believe that that's what those I travel with seem, seem to think and want. They have brought a seed with them. And I'm sure you understand the prospect of planting a Vakanoth seed here makes me quite uneasy. Vakanoth's seed. So they say. This is the first time that uh, um, <clears throat> this is the first time that Vonan has shown like any any actual emotion in his expressions. Just the slightest mm. like eyebrow raise, a shift in his posture. How do you feel about it? I believe. Vakanoth and her indifference caused 800 years that she could have stopped of suffering. And I don't know if lessons, if gods learn lessons. As far as I'm concerned, she's done nothing to warrant earning a place in another world. I'm trying to be gentle with those I travel with. I mean, some of them are from here, they don't know. I hope that they can understand, at least somewhat. Vonan glances back down at the Asia right. Spins it in his fingers. It's a very, um, like, fidgety kind of motion. He has been very in control of his own, like, uh, um, body language, every movement, but this one is, um, he just lets it slip. Uh, um, that He's thinking very intently about this. Brings his attention back to you and says, I think it will be okay. I have strong feelings about uh, the Jade Pantheon. And I have strong feelings about Vakanath's sections. But things are taking a turn for the better. And I do think that gods can change. You're more forgiving than I am. I suppose I am. Do you know of the opossum? It's not ringing a bell now. The East calls him the God of Peace. I've always been fond of him, I suppose. Of all of them. I agree with him the most. I like to think that... Uh, he will make sure that... 
peace will remain from now on. Well, for everyone's sake, I hope that you're right. That's... I just find it hard to fathom for so long sit by and watch not not you it wasn't until we showed that we could fight back and kill them that they were suddenly opposed to war I don't disagree with you Bakanath's neutrality is something I have had an issue with as well. That's why I see this change to be a promising one. So certainly keep your guidance in mind. I just... I feel that they uh, hit the Tekka and Pontifex and Brooke. I just want them to be sure they understand what happened. If understanding is what you seek, then it will be your responsibility to teach them. Oh, believe me, I have a lot of words for them for later. Huh. I'll leave it up to you, then. I don't, uh... I don't particularly enjoy imposing my own worldview on others. I'll express my opinions if asked, but I'll leave it at that. Don't worry, I have that, uh, front covered for you. Is there anything I can do for you? You've done a lot already, and... Honestly, just knowing that you are here... ...and hearing from you directly, as strange as it may be... Does bring me some comfort, so thank you for that. You're welcome, I suppose. Still, if you can think of anything, your group is going to be around for at least another hour. So, uh, put some thought in it. Thank you. Now I have a question for you. What might that be? You don't have to answer. But why are you here? I was hoping... I could find someplace here that felt like home. And that I could leave. And I was hoping I could leave my old grudges back in Luna. Seems that's not the case. What do you think home would look like? I'm not sure. I'll know it when I find it. I suppose this is as fine a place as any. They have more than one moon here. I find it nice. It's, uh... Wait, my, uh... My new friends, they have this tower. It's fascinating, extraordinary, and there's a observation... room on... 
before, and they bring it up for me very often. It's nice to do some stargazing. These moons are not my own, but think of me when you look at them. Certainly will. It's hard not to. Hmm. Um, here. You may have this. And he reaches around his neck and he removes a, a small metal chain. There's a pendant on it with the symbol of a crescent moon. And he just hands it over. She'll take it and she just kind of turns it over, holds it in her hand and <clears throat> she'll put it on, kind of tuck it under her scarf a little bit, keep it close. And this one is not meant to be an exchange. Just clarifying. That's good because I, I don't really have anything to give you, so that's a relief. I don't need anything. Well then, good luck. Likewise, I'll go see what... i make sure they're not getting into too much trouble. Uh, Pip has a knife now. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm chuckling, but Bonan is not uh, doesn't seem particularly yeah. worried. Yeah. He stretches a little bit and lets you go. Yes. So if he's done with that conversation, she will go find uh, Pip and Pekka, and hopefully they're not in too much trouble. But also, I will be right back. So if they had things to do, all that conversation is happening. Uh, yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we call a ten-minute break here, and then we can see what everybody else was up to. Ooh, Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Pat Man. Boom. Three gods oh. and ten sessions. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> good streak. <laughs> Right. Wait, this one didn't give us a, a stat boost. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see Where's you in 10. Where's my charisma, Bonin? <laughs> <laughs> see you in 10 minutes. The most charismatic yes. of them all. 10 minutes. Bye. Boop. Back to the stream. Back to the mine. Uh, we were gonna f find out what Tekka and Pip have been up to, and we'll never know what Pontifex was doing. Oh, so Tekka. many secrets. <laughs> uh, Tekka Nui is with you. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to do? Uh, yeah, Tekka would like to look for any markings that are similar to the tower where we encountered the one who stares. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check. Also, let me know if you're doing like anything special to to. Ah. Yeah, find it. No, nothing special. Um, I guess one thing he, he might do is like just like put his hand to the wall at certain places, just looking for like feeling for like an indentation or like any sense of like something being uh, dug into or yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, let me make that roll. Um, make that roll at uh, advantage. Uh, Ooh. Nuik um, calls your name, Becca, and then speaks to you uh, in a taran, and uh, <clears throat> Orm, translating for you, says... Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Hold on. <laughs> Here I go. What do you know about them?
Yes, I've heard similar things. The devils. Do you believe they are still alive somewhere in the sea? Who says the two cannot coexist? Life and death. Um, sh at, at, at this, um, Nui just looks perplexed. She considers it for a moment and then she shakes her head and says, If the Nahadra were so strong, so hungry for power, they could have made a deal. I wouldn't know. Have you made a deal for the devil? Um, she she lets out a bit of a, a chuckle at, at this and just waves a hand dismissively. This is my first time in large parts of Ladaria, and I have much to learn. 
I have always been told that the sea is a place you do not return from. <laughs> Is the sea then a trap, a border, something to contain us? So could one of us have a soul from a Nahadra from long, long ago? Do you fear that? And yet you know much about it. If the Nahadra were here, there should be signs from them. Will you help me look for marks? Uh, she agrees then, to it. Yeah. And with her help, you rolled a 12. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, as mentioned, these ruins are old, but there is a lot to them that uh, is more recent. All the mining uh, efforts are... Um, much of the areas that you explore, they have been uh, ruined because of the mining. Uh, there is no longer the original walls, um, the original anything. Um, so your efforts mostly don't really pay off in, in that regard. Um, with a 12... Uh, and with with Nui's assistance, um, poking around a couple of times, getting lost, but eventually finding your way back to a more familiar um, set of tunnels. Um, it's, it's really not enough to find uh, uh, anything meaningful. Uh, perhaps just the old signs of... Uh, uh, things that are currently missing, um, like, for example, nail holes into the walls uh, where something must have been hanged at some point, but uh, uh, most evidence of anything old from from the, however long ago uh, the Nahadar used to be here, it's all gone. Seems there's 
not much trace left of whoever built this. A lot has been worn down over time. Why do you say that? What would they have to do to earn that right, for that history to be not erased? As in, do someone a favor, give a gift, or to stop the earthquakes here in the Darien? Um, she, she chuckles initially when, uh, um, when you ask, uh, uh, what being good would entail, but then her expression, her expression just, uh, the, the smile immediately goes away and... <sighs> I'm sorry, there is much that has happened. While you were in that snow globe, there is much that I do not know how to convey to you, but yes. Something is happening to Ladaria. According to the Wolf, these mining operations are disturbing the core, disturbing the stability of the land we stand on causing earthquakes. Would you have any idea how long you were in that house? how long you were trapped there. <laughs> My lifetime? Your lifetime. Good question. Until now, which is much longer than many. A century, a time I cannot fathom, I... I'm sorry.
I have one question. It is not relevant to much. Oh. <laughs> oh. Which gods did you speak of in your time before you were trapped? It seems we are alike in more ways than I first imagined. <sighs> I cannot go into detail. But there was a meeting of sorts, and I worry that the gods of this land are not here much longer. Something is happening to Ladaria, and we have to learn how to stop it. an important point in history and one you can affect now unless there is something else we need to attend to I understand mm, she looks a little thoughtful her expression darkening a little bit and then she forces a, a smile Yeah, Tekka will just nod to that. Take your time. Not unlikely. And she seems ready to, to move on from this subject. Mm -hmm. mm. The two of you can work on uh, finding your way back to where uh, where you had met uh, uh, the supposed wolf. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what about Pip? All right, so you see this hole? Yeah. Pip wants to crawl in it. <laughs> I'll allow it. Great. He's mostly looking for things that the Nahadra may have left behind, any evidence that they were here. Uh, but also, he just saw this hole and wanted to crawl in it. Okay, yeah. It's like, <laughs> it, it's like what Tekka is doing. So yeah. you get a straight uh, investigation check. Okay. It's only a minus one now. Thanks, <laughs> Kiriel and Muriel. You have gotten smarter. <laughs> uh, but with a 10, that would be just about the same amount of success as Tekka and Nui had. Um, you can tell that this place is old and the gnomes moved into a place that was already here centuries ago. But uh, 
the ruins just don't really have anything left for you to find. Oh well. Is it a nice hole at least? <laughs> it's dark. It's dry. Um, it's just high enough, uh, high up enough from the ground um, to to give Pip this feeling of uh, of comfort and, and safety. Though to anyone else, it would be a really creepy place to be hiding into. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and at least he has the the comfort of knowing that he is making progress in his own quest. Yes. Um, Pip tries to get Squeak to let him put the last remaining ingredients in, but Squeak is being extremely stingy with the bag right now. <laughs> uh, and so that'll wait for just a little bit. <laughs> but he's not allowed to say no to that. That's fine, though. Like, if, if that's just flavor for doing it later, that's, just flavor. that's fine. Just okay. flavor for later. Mm -hmm. That's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's supposed to work to achieve this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, okay. Um, then we meet back up. Uh, unless Virion also wanted to do something away from Bonan? No, nope. she was just going to go... Literally make sure no one else was dead or anything mm. while, she, while she was gone. Okay. Then you may meet back up. Um, you can also... Like, for the time you're sticking around, um, you can count a short rest as having successfully been done. Uh, is there anything else you want to speak to Vonan about? I am good. I cannot think of anything else for the beer and wand ask, so. I feel yeah, like there's things we're going to regret not asking. <laughs> yeah, all this always the case. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm racking my mind. Think, try to think of something. Mm. Oh, actually, um, Tekka will step up to the wall for one thing. Yeah, by, by the time you guys are back, he has moved from one of the chairs around the table to the couch instead. Hmm. Um, he's just chilling. He has a stone in his hands and... Uh, He's not really doing much. He sees you all walk in, uh, and like he'll let you know that uh, um, he has about like 15 more minutes to work on uh, returning Brook to you. And yeah, that's it. I will not disturb you for long. If you're not already aware, the gnomes are planning to build a railway through the jungle north of Arca. A place that is the home of many of families. Do you have any plans to stop that? To my knowledge, nobody does live in that jungle. We have spoken with people that do, that hold that jungle as their home. Lidarians? Take it or not. Uh, that's one more thing to worry about. I was aware of their plans, me. but I didn't think it was going to harm anyone. If they're going to displace the locals, I... I should do something about it. Could you scare them away? As you did here. 
That's a plan. I'm concerned, though. Um, this is the jungle on the peninsula that we're talking about, yes? Huh. North of uh, the uh, Nomish settlement. Yes. It is so close uh, to where they have decided to live that it will be really difficult to keep them out of there. They'll probably just keep coming back. I would have to stop my work here. I can't be in two places at once. He just kind of rubs his head. He seems now a little stressed out. <laughs> uh, but he sighs. I'll, I'll do what I can. Even if not permanent, perhaps there is something we can do later. What do you have in mind? Something that would prevent them from even placing those rails in the first place. Making oh. the ground so... Making the ground not even stable enough to place anything on. Something that will give the moment to try to construct anything. And you can achieve that? No. It is only an idea. I do not know how to execute. Not, not for nothing, but that also sounds like it would be fairly destructive. Just on principle. Other ideas? I'm not an engineer. Well, I have friends who are gnomes, but... Um, is there a way they could reroute, or...? I, I'm not you know, super versed in this uh, situation. I did not join you until after that, but if people are surprised that there are people living there, do they know? Didn't we ask them to reroute? I feel like we did. I feel like we did, yeah. I wasn't there for that. No, 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 that's fair. Just, like, try to remember, because it's quite a while ago. It's been a while. <laughs> right, so as a reminder, uh, the Etarava said that the jungle was the place they originally lived in, and they moved out because of the one who stares, basically hunting them down. Uh, so the jungle was empty uh, until you guys did something about it, and so the Etara are planning on returning to the jungle. So it is... Like, it, it, it's correct that currently nobody lives in it, because up until recently, nobody did. Um, and that's about to change. So the gnomes wouldn't know about that. As far as they know, the jungle is not uh, inhabited. Um, you did talk to Gringina about it. Uh, and if I recall that... Uh, <clears throat> if I recall, she also, like, like, you did inform her about this. And... <clears throat> she has, like, vaguely alluded to the fact that she has been trying to, like, help out the wolf with limiting what the gnomes are doing, but she is also simultaneously loyal to the gnomish cause, which is why she asked for your help in the first place, because she is, like, conflicted about the whole thing. Right. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's where you're at. If it was as simple as rerouting, they... Why would they go through the jungle in the first place? It would take so much work, and yet that is what they are planning to do. Because the quickest place is a way between two points is a straight line. So if you can take a straight line, that's what you do. Um, but, I mean, 
is the entire jungle inhabited? I mean... Would you like it if someone intruded on your home? I believe there was a whole war about it. Certainly was. So we should pre prevent further conflict from happening. What if... What if they're going to the jungle not because it's the quickest route, but because this is where... This is where they can get what they want, what they need. In both that jungle and this one were ruins from the Nahadra. Where they could get some of this nightmare stuff. If that were the case, perhaps I could... Uh, if I could stop them from going uh, wherever it is they're trying to go, if they do have a mining operation of nightmares somewhere in that jungle and disrupted that, then they'll have no reason to build uh, any railway system to it. Take away what they want, they won't try to get to it anymore. Makes sense. It's the only thing I can try. I'll give it a shot. If any of you happen to be in the area, I'd encourage you to look at the situation as well. In fact, Andy stands up and stretches and cracks his knuckles. I'm down here. I might as well head straight to there. Would you like me to take you there? What? Or are you headed elsewhere? What do you mean you are done? Is the spell finished? Uh, well, oh, finish that before I go, of course. I mean, I'm done with the gnomes. They're gone. Right. They should not be back. We have many other places to go. I don't think we can prioritize the jungle now. I understand. But thank you for listening. Ah, thank you for the warning. Allow me now to return your friend to you. Um, with just a gesture of his hand, uh, Bonan splits the ceiling wide open, the stone parting at his will, and little sparkles of light, uh, golden in color, uh, they descend upon you like a strange magical rain. They hit the floor and they begin to sort of like roll together all in the same spot, collecting themselves into a vaguely all-humanoid shape until Brooke is returned to your party. Brooke! Yeah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Dennis isn't here, but uh, um, Brooke has uh, the, the benefits of a long rest. He's unharmed. Uh, and uh, essentially has no idea what happened in between uh, the uh, that fight and now. Uh, and then Bonan says, along with your friend, allow me to offer my apologies once more and uh, perhaps a gift. Step forward. Mm. He extends a hand. Uh. Yeah. 
Yeah, take your step forward. I'm, um, Bonan will shake Tekka's hand, and, uh, uh Tekka, you receive a gift. Uh, add your Carter sheet a feat. Um, that's, hello, where did I put it? Here it is. Um, you may add the Eldritch Adept feat. You gain a free oh. Warlock Invocation. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> okay. The rules of the feat apply, so it has to be an invocation that you can actually use. Um, so for Pip, there's effectively more options available. Oh my. That's just how it works. And he'll do that with each of you. He'll extend a hand to Nui as well. And the two of them introduce themselves through the book. And she also gets a f uh, the feat. Hmm. So does Quick. Oh, what? Let's yeah. go! <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Huh. Oh, that's a lot to think about. You don't have to pick something right away. Uh, but for each of you that uh, Bonan shakes your hand with and wishes you good luck, um, it's a, a different feeling from uh, when you received a blessing from the Darian gods, but not too dissimilar. You have this sensation of having been blessed by magic that... Uh, uh, in, in in the case of the other gods, it was a, really a, a feeling of alien magic. Um, something you're not quite familiar with for some of you. Um, and with this, it feels a lot more familiar. Uh, and it's like the inverse for Pip and Tekka, who are from Lidaria. Uh, the blessing of the Lady of the Land and of the dragons uh, felt familiar. And this one feels alien. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. I like that. <laughs> Good luck. We'll meet again. I suppose we yeah. might. You'll be hearing from me. Not every once in a while. You all dream, right? With Varian's exception. Mm-hmm. Then that's how I might reach you. Thank you for your gifts. I apologize for delaying you. I know my magic can be painful, so I hope you didn't suffer too much. <laughs> and yeah, you are ready to um, say goodbye to the wolf and leave the mine. The way back towards the exit is so much simpler uh, and without uh, any terrible things chasing you down. Um, you don't see any of the damage that you had uh, that you had experienced on your way in. Uh, Tech, eventually you come across the, the one pillar where, where you had etched a symbol on and it's just the one and it's still there. It didn't actually collapse on you. The rails that try to grab you, Pip, they are unmoving and exactly where they should be. I kick them one more time just for good measure. <laughs> you kick them for good measure, they don't say anything. <laughs> and the door that had closed behind you is slightly ajar. You have with you um, a new rock, a new medallion, the blessing of the wolf, and the head 
of a machine. Nice. Almost a full Megazord. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Pip looks down at Squeak and says, All right, it's time. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, fine. I guess you've earned it. And he holds out the bag. And in it, Pip puts in the things that he has not yet sent to Granny, which is a stone that rests above the clouds, a root behind the nighttime shroud, a nestling's feather plucked in vain, and a fang still full of mortal bane. Okay. The ingredients, uh, once you place them into the pouch, they disappear. The bag never gets any heavier. It never seems to get full. I'm gonna just move your minis away for a moment. Ha. Um, it doesn't get heavier, it never seems to get full, and you just watch as one by one all these things that it took you so long to find and collect, they just disappear into nothingness. And as nothing happens, there's those few uh, seconds of worrying about whether you made a mistake, about uh, whether Granny is happy with your work. And then you feel that a bag gets heavier. You hear this rattling inside for just a moment, like things are settling uh, through gravity at the bottom of the bag, and, and then that's it. Pip shakes the bag. <laughs> it sounds suspiciously like rocks. Did she give them back? Pip looks inside. <laughs> there is a pouch. Oh, my light flickered. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> They're flickering right now. What are you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I I actually um. Messed with your lights the last time I visited you in your home. <gasps> oh, wait, it's a different This is home. a new home. <laughs> you hacked I, into uh, my power. Uh -huh. Okay, my power might go out. They're like flickering light. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, there is another bag inside of your bag. A smaller oh. one. And there is two pieces of paper, of parchment. Uh, one tied to the bag in question and the other just on its own. Okay. Uh... I feel like the one on its own is my third list, so I'm going to read that one second. Mm. I'm more interested in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you take out this other pouch, smaller than the one you just uh, um, got it out of, um, and uh, there is indeed this sound of rocks rattling inside. Uh, Austin? Yes? Would you kindly roll... <gasps> Four D fours for me. What? Okay. okay. Nine. There are nine rocks in this pouch. Um, the pouch is this like it feels like it's made of leather, but it's a greenish color rather than brown. Um, like the the. The color of, of grass, it's a vibrant green. Uh, it has a little string to like close it uh, and pull it open. And uh, peeking inside, there is an assortment of nine rocks. Uh, each one of them, again, with this slight greenish, actually, like, yeah, a, a greenish tint to each of them. Um, they're all slightly different shapes, slightly different sizes, uh, but they all share this uh, um, same tint to them. Woo! Rocks. <laughs> you, you, you know I, you know I love rocks, guys. <laughs> the paper, um, attached to this one pouch, says the, whoops, says the following, and I'll just uh, message you. Or uh, where are you? Oh. Oh. 
Within this pouch, great magic lies. Bury a rock and watch wonders rise? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> it buries a rock. Um, where? Uh, like, right on the ground. Just... Right outside it, the, the entrance? Yeah, yes. And you just walk down the steps, and you're on this like rocky path, and you move just enough to where there is uh, uh, some dirt right, uh, right here. here. Okay. Uh, roll a d100 for me. Oh, oh boy. That's always fun. Oh, huh? it's shimmering. Oh. It's doing a shimmy. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We have to wait for it to stop so we know which number is. Okay. 29. So 29. Okay. You bury the rock, you pat the ground. And you wait. And for a moment you feel a little silly because, for, for one, you just have given up a perfectly good rock. <laughs> I should and, dig it back up. <laughs> yeah, you, you, consider, <laughs> you consider digging it back up, and then the rock begins to dig its way out of the earth on its own. Ah! It is no longer a little pebble. There is a rock arm stretching out, uh, coming out of the ground, uh, a hand, and then the rest of the body, a torso and a head, and you are looking at uh, a little statue of yourself. In your likeness, oh, oh. made of stone, your size, uh, it, it digs its way out of the ground, and then it, it's even dressed like you, but it's all just rock. Uh, and it still has this like, greenish tinge to it, and it stands there. Um... Um, I'm gonna put the music. Hi. <laughs> it the... waves. <laughs> oh, the statue waves back. Oh! <laughs> I have made life. <laughs> well, now what? <laughs> um, do I do I get to tell you what to do? The statue nods. Okay, hold on. Pip looks at the other paper. <laughs> uh, the second paper reads as follows. Break the third of binding spell. A good pet seeks these items well. First find ooze from depths profound. A slimy substance darkly crowned. Nightmare? We could probably just go back in the mines and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Next the life that softly gleams. For... Uh, uh, um, professor. <laughs> professor, yeah. <laughs> professor, help. Wait, you can do Pontifex's voice. Oh, it's voice. Uh, yeah. phosphorescence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Phosphorescence in midnight dreams. Lastly, sulfur's fiery might. A scent of brimstone strong and bright. In realms unknown and far from day, your search unfolds a price to pay. Embrace the verses, hold them tight. They'll lead you through the stormy night? Uh, okay. Other me! Go get this first one. It's in the mines right there. <laughs> you have five minutes. <laughs> Go, go, go! Do you, the statue walks at a leisurely pace into the mine. <laughs> it's probably deep down! 
I feel Rain's good. Gone. <laughs> I feel good about this. These are rocks we... are cool. Are we gonna wait for it? Yeah. Oh, it's got five minutes. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave. What happens if it get it gets it and we're gone? It'll find us someday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when the... we least expect it, it'll I'm... just come running. I'm not your mother, but. I suspect that sending a um, moving statue to retrieve this substance, which uh, apparently is quite dangerous and hazardous and should not be touched or messed with by anyone, and just letting it walk around with it unsupervised is not the best decision. Fine, we'll wait here until it comes back. I mean, Should I bury that. all of them right now? <laughs> Maybe not right now, Pip. <laughs> okay. Save them I for later. Am... You'll you'll want them later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> it, the statue comes back exactly at the fifth minute. Uh, at the at the end of the fifth minute, and uh, um, it's empty-handed. Wow. Did you need more time? How far did you get? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Just gonna give me the silent treatment? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the statue doesn't speak, as you realize. <laughs> But it just shakes its head. You exist forever. It shakes its head. Do you exist for longer than a day? It nods. Oh. Do you exist for longer than a week? It shakes its head. Do you exist for five days? It... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it nods. Six. It nods. But not seven. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> it's exactly seven. <laughs> you eventually figured oh. it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's he's just gonna be here now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, nice to see you making friends. <laughs> I hope I hope that doesn't freak out the horses too much. <laughs> Nui is freaked out. <laughs> Not the weirdest thing we've seen today. <laughs> is this so what with... I looked like when the dog turned me into stone? I mean, a little less uh, animated, but yes, uh, pretty close. What do you think, Tekka? I worry that your grandmother can create a version of you. She can probably make one of you too. <laughs> you need to be that obvious. is not the part I am worried. <laughs> She's she's really powerful. Like I don't know if I really drove that home with you guys. Like I'm pretty sure she could do literally anything. Like collect the ingredients herself. Oh no, she couldn't do that. She's <laughs> banished to the peninsula. So she cannot do everything. Well, well Fine. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> well, it does not seem dangerous, so... How should we refer to this animated version of you? Um...
What's a what? How do can we like combine the words pip and rock? Like pip pebble. Like prick. <laughs> we'll workshop <Pibble>. it. <laughs> Pib. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Think it over. For now, be mindful. You're not going to kill us in our sleep, are you? Rock Pip. Rock Pip shakes its head. Can I trust you? <laughs> Uh, Rock Pip nods. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Rocks don't lie. Um, you know what? We're not going to get into this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fool's goal, it's a whole thing. Last time we ran into a sentient rock, it did in fact lie to us, so. <laughs> it did? <laughs> Fair. Cuddles? <laughs> Pebbles, yeah. Cuddles. I don't think she would ever do that still. <laughs> Cuddles can't lie anymore. No. <laughs> lie in the ground. Oh. Dang. Wow. Today, today Pip got a, got a stone turtle and a stone himself. This is the best day. <laughs> here's, here's a mini for you. <gasps> right, right here. Fancy. Nice. <laughs> Pip. Can Pip carry you? Can't. Let's try it. Pip, can you carry me? Wait, do you have a backpack on? Does this item do me? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, in order, <clears throat> first, Stone Pip has, can lift up to 120 pounds. You can carry me! <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you want to ride on Stone Pip's back, uh, Stone Pip will carry you on its back. And nice. it does have a backpack. And it does have stone replicas of uh, your equipment on it. Whoa. So you also find like another stone turtle. And, oh my uh, goodness. Another <laughs> stone rat and I've another. I've my collection. And another, uh, like, an, another, like, entire replica of your rock collection. Uh, all of it. don't go with you. All of it is just like stone, so all of your colorful, oh. like a stone, gray stone, I mean, like material yeah. and color. So all of your rocks <laughs> that have beautiful colors, so then they're all gray now. Uh, the, the, the duplicate ones. Um, whenever you take something from it, like a pouch or maybe like uh, something it's wearing, like cloth immediately becomes rigid. Mm. Uh, so like... You're, you you take the pouch uh, of rocks, his own version of it from from uh, from it, and uh, like it, it becomes solid. So you have to like kind of turn it upside down uh, while it's open to get anything out of it. But there's a bunch of other rocks in it. There's even a copy of the message that was attached to to the to the bag. Whoa! Can you cast spells? Uh, it shakes its head. Oh. Well, you're still cool. <laughs> That's fine. It nods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. <laughs> so, now that this uh, detour is out of the way... we continue on? Do we need to take a, some time to rest? I know today was a little uh, harrowing for a lot of us. 
I am ready to continue. I am done with this place. How about you, Pip? We can go a ways. Maybe set up early camp tonight. Yeah. Just just be a, a little away from here. Just. I mean, I I would feel kind of bad leaving, knowing that one of my ingredients I need to get is probably just right down there. But I'm willing to wait for it. It seems very dangerous, Pip. We at least need a plan for how to contain it. We should not be near it or touch it. All right. So we, it seems at least that any mine that we come across is a good candidate for it. We know where to find this one. There are others. Um, when we Maybe we can find out more before we go and try to pick it up. Okay. Um, I've been I've been thinking about uh, about it for a few minutes, uh, but I think I think I'm gonna say it because you have uh, the knowledge to know this, but the the nightmare. Is not slimy. It's not really oh. Okay. Uh, it doesn't. Like, From your description really in the it, tower, so. it, it made me think like it was oozy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't remember. Like I was looking through my notes to see if I knew like exactly how, what words I had used for it. So, like um, I've. I'm picturing it like the goop from Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, that's exactly how I was thinking of. Uh, it, it's more liquid than um, okay. something you would call an ooze. So it's more of a sludge. Yeah, let's go with sludge. <laughs> like from Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a sludge, not an ooze. Come on. Now. <laughs> Pontifex is being pedantic about it, I'm sure. Since yeah. He's not here to defend yeah. himself. <laughs> he goes, um, actually. And then yeah. explains. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case. Uh, since this seems more of a sludge than an ooze, uh, says the expert. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can safely head on our way then. It seems that... Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's other dangers in the jungle, but this particular one we don't need to worry about anymore. This last bit of the list is a little weird, though. Like, I don't think it's telling me to get anything. It's just telling me to... Like, some sort of warning of something I need to do. Perhaps a place you need to go. So, I doubt you need to figure it all out uh, right away. I have time to think on it. Uh, mull it over. Sometimes these sorts of things... Uh, uh, come to you when you least expect it. Yeah. So what's... What's next? What do we do? Where do we go? Are we still going... Are we still going south to the... Um... The the glass castle? Or the, the staff? So I think we are heading towards the staff, yeah? I don't see why we can't continue on that way. We are gonna add an actual token for this. So I'm gonna copy one of these. Oop! 
Um... Whoops. Nightmare mine. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not a 1999 roller coaster dark ride combination. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard the nightmare mine. <laughs> As you're um, considering your options, uh, Bonan steps out of the mine. He says, oh, you're still here. Don't mind me. <laughs> It, we did the awkward off? thing where we said goodbye Look and said, what I made. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> 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 like, we did the awkward thing where we like, left and started walking the same direction. <laughs> uh, impressive. Yeah, my granny gave me rocks and I buried one and I grew a me. <laughs> um, he actually like looks over towards Virion, like almost for confirmation. Yeah, she just kind of like shrugs and. Not the weirdest thing we've done. <laughs> hmm. Well. Um, have fun. <laughs> he walks up to the nearest tree, puts a hand on it, waits for a few seconds and then nods to himself, and then he walks into the tree and disappears oh. from view. Oh! Be right back, I got pee. <laughs> uh, Pip goes, like, out to, away from everybody else, and checks the noose to see if one of the knots has been untied. It has been. Three to go. And then he comes back. Does anyone else need a restroom break before we head out? I mean, there's trees all along the way, so I think most of you will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> We will not run out of trees. <laughs> and we continue south then to the staff. That seems like a good direction. Okay. In that case, if you are ready to um, travel further, uh, make sure you have counted your, your short rest on your sheet. And uh, uh, I'm going to call the session here. Uh, I'm going to give uh, Dennis the ability next um, session to uh, speak with Bodan if Brooke has anything to say to him. So, mm -hmm. like, we'll just backtrack for a moment to that if he wants to, if there's anything he wants to ask him or just be upset that uh, he got kind of killed. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll do that. And then we'll just resume with, with your journey to the southeast. Nice. Sounds good. Wow. And yeah. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for running. Thank you. Yes, thank you for the session. This is a good one. <gasps> uh-huh. Oof. I oh boy, okay. 